Well, been to the salon again. And it's not my hair that's making everything glow. It is actually sunset, I believe. It might be sunrise. I think it's sunset. These are the mushrooms from the last uh, update that we didn't look at, I think. We didn't look at. Well, these are them anyway when they're grown. They look like that. So, it's been another update. And as you can see, there's hairstyles again. So, uh, you'll have to go and look at those. There's lots of different hairstyles now. for the, At least for the female character. A little uncertain on the male one. So, we're going to look at what... What... Um, is in the update. I'm just going to head down this way. In fact, I heard a rumour. I'm going to go and check it out. Hold on. Hold on. Go over this way first. It's probably going to end up night time again. It always does when I uh, do the updates for some reason. It doesn't matter what time of day I do this either. It always seems to go to night. Hear that? Hear that? Look at that. Bees. How cool is that? Let me just pull out of it. You can see. The hives now have bees and sound effects. I think we've got honey to collect as well. Yeah, there's a bit of honey there. Anyway, we'll do that later. Let's go back. Now we're going to need a sort of an open area because obviously we're going to check things out. So, this will do. Oh, there's those pots. I did actually find out afterwards, if you go up to them and click on them, like stand on them, you can pick what you like for them. So, you can put whatever you like in those pots, not just broccoli. So, obviously I changed out the broccoli. Okay. Let us, let us see what's new. Right, well we've got animals, and I do believe there's quite a few sort of structures, or some structures, which I'm quite interested in. I'll just check through things just to make sure there's nothing that hasn't popped up. So, animals. We have another rabbit. And we have another horse. Now what I'll do is I will obviously put some of these around in a minute and we'll look at them closer because again it's night time you can't see the picture we have got several things we've got this an animal feeder okay so that'll probably go Ooh. probably go in here will it Oops. Ooh, it's, it costs four of these things though I might put it in the dark one over here. See how big it is. Oh, no, that's not that big. Not enough space. Alright, so you've got to obviously get rid of a pile. Like that. Then. Put that in. So there you have an animal feeder. Yeah, it's alright. It probably serves the purpose that you use it, do you? Yep. You can still chuck it on the ground. So. Well, do yeah. You need several of them by the seems of it, but it seems quite expensive being four of those tickets. I don't know if I want those. Right, um... What else did we have? We were on animals, weren't we? Oh no, we were... We were on that. And any more up there? No, we've got some at the bottom, which is a fruit shop. Okay, so that'll just be a big version of the fruit stall. So you better get rid of a lot more in one go, which is which is a good thing. Once you get your farm bigger, you want to be able to shift stuff quicker. You don't want to be standing there clicking hundreds of these. That's what we did. We had to plant loads of these little ones thing is though don't use this one that much because a lot of it goes to the press the fruit maybe the press is the press oh it did go to the press yeah that's right it goes to the press and then it gets made to jam 
so you get those pink tickets and that's kind of the main way I get those tickets there are other ways you get it from honey and things like that but it's a lot slower and I think you can get it from milk or cheese or something like that right and this is the one that always interests me because it's just things to add to your scenery we've got a bench nice where can we put a bench I know where we can put a bench I put a few more mushrooms up, but that was only because I was going to sell. I haven't actually designed this area yet. It's just, just random. Put a bench here, but it's probably going to take two. Is it? Ooh. Does it take one? Let's find out, shall we? Bench. Oh, it's one. Cool. So, maybe you can sit on it. Ha! <laughs> cool. I like that. Yep. That's really good. You get off it like that, and you get on it like that. Yeah, that's the one thing I like about this game. Whenever they do anything, the characters or when you're doing stuff, it's not just a case of walk up to it and sit down. She just does this little jump to it. It's a bit like when she jumped in the tractor. That's what makes it a little bit unique and fun. Right, rabbits. Let's put this rabbit in, and then we'll look at the other thing as well. Um, I got nowhere to extend the rabbits. Yikes. I'll have to have a new rabbit patch right about here. So let's just grab some rabbits. rabbits there we go. And we need more horses as well. And although this could be a horse area. Hmm, getting a bit crowded here. Nowhere else for rabbits or horses, maybe? <laughs> You know, I think I've got enough horses anyway. I probably could just mix a few of those other ones in, take a few away. I might do that. Right, rabbits. Uh -huh. Yep. They look just as daft as the other ones. Perfect. on. And there we have it. You rabbits. And just because we can, we will put a bench. Wherever the benches went. Uh, 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 uh. Well that's the selling thing. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Bench. Like that. Good. Good, good, good. I'm going to get rid of that. Not too keen on that sundial because it's like on the floor and it just looks a bit weird. If it was like bigger maybe or on top of something on a pedestal, but yeah. I'll have to think about that. Do something with it. Right, what else we got? We've got this thing. This is a ice cream stand. Now we are talking. That's the sort of thing we want. Um where can we put Where can we put an ice cream stand? That's a fish area. I mean, there's a stable here, but. Oh, I don't know. We could put it where the stable is. How big is it? It's only little. We'll do that. Think about that in a minute. What is, what is this? A stone bench. Okay, they've got a different bench. Nice. So there's a stone bench. And there is a hot dog stand. What does that look like? 
same size. And this is great. Um, can't put it in there because that's like a go kart track. Can't put it in there because this is like a train track. I could put it somewhere. I mean, these looms have got to go, maybe. Let me pull out and have a look. We could put them here. I can put them in here for now. I can move them after if I don't like them. I need to see which way it goes around. Does it matter? Not really. Hot dog stand. There we go. They don't look good there. Definitely don't look good. But it's nothing to worry about. We will move them unless. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's better. It's not brilliant, but it's better. Yeah. Okay. And that was it, apart from the stone bench. Oh, and we've got to go and do the horse as well, yeah. Right, stone bench. Where can we put a stone bench? It needs to go somewhere that's stony. This looks stony. But... You know what, we've got the big fish selling things now, so we could actually just ditch these things. Or ditch. So we've got a couple of them there. Let's ditch this one. We'll just literally get rid of it. There we go. There we go, two stone benches. Zoom in, get a better look. Yep, they'll work if you're doing a stony sort of area. Just catch some fish. 21,000. 18,000. 7,000, 17, and 200, and that'll be it. Let's go and check out what the sharks are. 14, 8, 7, 10, 14. That's a lot of points. Funny thing with coins though, they I know you use them for buying your crops now, but they kind of become a bit irrelevant a bit later on when you uh, are using stuff. They're not so useful anymore. Right, now we're going to go and do the horse. It's funny that you run up and you jump over everything. All right. So the horses will have to go over here somewhere. I assume they look the same. Right, we were going to put them in the same thing, weren't we? Let me just check. Make sure they are the same. Yeah, pretty much. It's very expensive. So what we will do... We will go like this. Nope, we will go like this. Like this. This one maybe? Pop it all in there. That works.
See, what I find with this game is you start off with like all this farming stuff because it is obviously a farming game, like all this, and over time you kind of develop and you sort of stop farming after a while. You kind of move. You still farm to get resources, but not as much, and you start building stuff like this. So this is like, yes, you can get stuff like this off the plants, and you can fish like over here, this kind of thing. But in general, you start to try and make make different things with it. I mean, some people will just literally sit there just farming, but it almost evolves. Like I say, we've gone from doing the farm to putting up a go-kart track, putting up a cafe area uh, in there, and then a train track thing here, because obviously the, the tracks came into a sort of fish area down here. I mean, yeah, you like I say, you still collect stuff in this little walkabout area, hot dogs. Um, this is just amusing stuff. I've just put here for the hell of it. And we've got the Easter area over there, which we had at Easter. This is generally the farming bit around here. But like I say, I tend not to do so much farming, because what happens is with the crops as well, if you leave your crops too long, they will go rotten. And then you'll just get a little bit of gold back. Now, I changed all the crops out the other day, I think. So we probably are good. Let me just go and check the strawberry area. Because the strawberry area um, sometimes gets left a long time. So yeah, it's fine still. But I use this to get the jam, to get the pink tickets. That's why there's strawberries there. You can get it from collecting all the trees as well that are around the, the area. I don't know if we've got any of these. No, we can get some later. And then you'll come up like here. You've got the area with all the, the tents in the sort of foresty area. A little campfire and place to eat. So a little camping site. And again over here there's like a throwback to the farming. Where there's a little bit of a wheat field and the, the ovens. And just a little sitting area. And that. It's just little bits I sort of threw in here. It's nothing. No particular theme that really. Apart from the... The wheat or the farm and the uh, ovens and here's just kind of random stuff this was the Easter area up here that we did and um, we obviously had to work with what we had which wasn't lots but you see it's up here like this it it looks a lot better once it gets dark because obviously the lights come on and that's the whole point of it with all these lights it lights up makes it look nice and around the whole border you see we treed the whole of all the um, bits of land are all bordered in trees and over there we've got dead tree island so yeah like I say it kind of evolves from being farming into more of a sort of theme park kind of idea or place of interest in fact that would be a good thing if you could almost have sort of theme not theme park necessarily but like park stuff kind of thing or just like we did with the go-karts and that the next one we're gonna have to do is a we might put a little football pitch or something down wouldn't be a bad idea actually let me um let's run over here we'll quickly have a go at that we need a bit of land somewhere um, it's always a bit of a thing of where to put it We'll just go over here. It's going to be dark though, if I see any trouble. See, what my plan with this is, is to get a couple of these. One there. And one there. And then. Is that lined up? Is that. Yeah. There you go. Now you got you got your football and you got your goalposts. So when your friends come round, you can have a game of footy or soccer, depending on where you come from in the world. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's on the post again. There it is. There you go. I wonder if we can actually get that back in the middle. It's moving closer. 
Like I say, not ideal, not goalpost. That could be another thing. Goalposts. They could add goalposts to this. Immediately, they, something that's that simple, you can make a football pitch. But what we'd... What I'd say we'd probably do is... Uh, if we're going to do this properly, which I'll, I'll do it off camera probably, uh, the most part of it. But... What you could do as well is literally... Like, mark it out like this. So you've literally got... The grass... And then when that's done, you'll have like the pitch size for it. Right, so one more check just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Nope, we're good. We're good. Like I so said, this is the bit I like because it's got all these extras. I don't think there's anything else we could use as goalposts. Not really. No. I mean, you could use these maybe. No, you couldn't actually. I mean, I suppose you could, you could, you could use trees. What about the, these ones? Yeah, I mean, you could use trees as goalposts as well, if you wanted to. But anyway, there you go. That's just another update to the game. And a few extra bits and pieces that they've put in, which, um... Is great. Like I say, they keep adding little bits, and these updates are coming so quick. Literally every few days, there's another update. So it's all good stuff. I almost forgot the fruit shop, and when we're here to look at things they put in the update, well, there it is. Looks nice. Pineapples. Does this mean pineapples are coming? An avocado. Mango, kiwi, and all these tropical fruits we don't have. Interesting. We've got plums and we've got lemons or whatever those are. Who knows, maybe in the next updates. <laughs>